you. It started over 20 years ago um, here at Alliance High School when Time Warner approached the city of Alliance, the city government, and asked if they could have a, um, a station here in somewhere in town um, to broadcast community events and the city contacted the school and thought that would be a great a great way to have the station rather than the city to run it. So the school has run it since its inception. I love working with students. Um, I never thought that I would want to work in the school system. I thought that I would go to a larger market, I'd work at a big station, but I love the integrated um, not teaching, but instructing with the students at the same time that I get to work and I get to show them, you know, where I've come from because, you know, I did go here. So I think that that's, a, that's one of my favorite parts. I've learned a lot of things, um, going all the way from directing to, uh, to audio to TD to uh, camp. I mean, pretty much almost everything. Um, probably the most thing that I enjoy um, the most that I think is probably one of the most important things too is um, I enjoy editing a lot um, just because I think it gives me the freedom to be able to to be able to make the movie or you know to me to be able to make the video however um, I want to be able to do it and decide how it should be and be able to add my music and sound effects and whatever wacky effects that I want to be able to add to the end of it preview see their ideas come together. Once they come up with an idea, they do their storyboard and then they um, shoot their video and then they edit it and they enhance it and they add special effects and music and all that. And it's really fun to see how creative they can be. Um, also seeing them work together and um, brainstorm and learning, you know, real skills, learn, having them be excited about, oh, I just found this is going on in the community because we did that show. So, so watching them become more um, responsible citizens. I think because um, this program is kind of sponsored by Time Warner Cable, um, and we're able to, in this you know program, is able to earn some money. Um, you know, you're able to work with professional um, equipment, and even some colleges and universities don't can't even offer what um, that we have here in just just in our high school. And so, um, I think that with our equipment and our technology that we have. Um, we can be able to outbeat some of the, some of the other programs, and uh, and of course, you know, with this in high school, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say it's free, but um, but I mean, it's a pretty grand opportunity to have for being in high school and being able to have the experience and education that you could be able to get here. Uh, the biggest thing we see, the progression wise, is kids come in and they're like, I can edit because they have an iPhone or an iPad, and they've done some iMovie stuff. And then they get to see the equipment that we have. And we're the la one of the last schools in the state still getting money from Time Warner Cable because our station, they're not only just doing announcements here for the school. Those kinds of things go out on our channel. And so the community gets to see that. And so one thing I like to see is how they're able to learn our editing software as opposed to something that you know any run-of-the-mill person can have. Um, seeing our equipment and when they want to work with you know, our top equipment when they get to that senior level, as well as being recognized in the community for what they've done. Well, um, one, one person that is doing really well is um, one of the students, and his name is Ben Patterson, who is not my student, he's a little bit older than when I started. But Ben is a producer director of Onslaught, in, based in New York City, but he travels all around the country and out of the country. He produced a, an award-winning film called Sweet Nicky for President, which we get to preview here at the high school in May. So that's one job. I know one of the girls that was near him in school um, is um, works for MTV. Um, a girl works for NBC as a morning show producer in Charlotte. Um, a student works as a production assistant for a company that their main client is NASCAR. Um, another girl works for an online um, uh, writing, doing a website for an online company. Um, 
between lots and lots of jobs. Uh, several people have their own production companies or their own businesses through the skills that they learned here and then, of course, later on in college. So they're all across the country, all across the country. Stick with the program. That's my biggest piece of advice. Stick with the program. Your junior year is very heavy in learning techniques and book work and worksheets. But once you get to that senior year, you get to go out on your own and find your own stuff and be your own person and learn where you really fit in. You might not necessarily think you're coming, you might think you're coming in to this program to be um, on air talent and you find out that your passion is in editing and seeing that project go from start to finish. So stick with it. 